Korean War veteran Sam Mathis and his wife of nearly 20 years, Betty, say their home is modest, but it's what they could afford after losing their mobile home in the Buffalo tornado in 2012. Now they fear for their future in this home, too. Well, uh, I'm, about to lose, I'm about to lose my home. They had been relying on Sam's veterans' benefits to pay the mortgage. They took all my benefits away from me. And uh, no, all we got now is Social Security. Betty says last fall that veterans' pension payment stopped. Went down there to pull out the house payment, no money. Betty says from 1999 to 2011, Sam received the same amount of money for his monthly pension payment. At that time, he's getting $777 a month, and if they'd left it alone, this never would have happened. Then, in the summer of 2013, the Mathises received this correspondence after an in-person meeting with a VA field examiner. They would get more than $1,500 a month, more than twice their previous payment. That was until that day in the fall of 2013 when Betty went to pull out the house payment. Nothing was there. The Mathis's insurance agent and family friend, Terry Reed, stepped in to help Sam get his pension payment back and to challenge the VA. Reed says what followed is a mind-numbing amount of paperwork filled with misinformation and mixed messages, and then things went from bad to worse. Reed says in June of 2013, Sam Mathis received a letter from the VA reaffirming his non-service connected pension, the one that said he'd get more than $1,500 a month. Then in December of 2013, the elderly couple received two bills for $142,000. The letter went on to explain they had failed to claim Betty's Social Security as part of their income financial status report, and the elderly couple is to repay all of the VA benefits they've received dating back to 1999. She says that she has reported that all along. I was like, well, they pay up back $146,000. I don't have that kind of money. This is the type of veterans get. It also says, as part of the bill collection, the Department of the Treasury can and will withhold every state and federal payment the couple is entitled to. All we got right now is Social Security. Then in a correspondence dated less than a week later from the same office, same address, a letter that says they received a financial status report from Sam and Betty Mathis, but could not determine why it was submitted. In March 2014, more letters saying benefits had been reinstated, but cut in half to $786. They received two payments this past spring. They received that in April and May. And then they stop pulling, they stop paying again in June and July. They have not received payments the last two months from the VA. To navigate these waters, Reed started getting help from Buffalo Disabled American Veterans Service Officer Richard Beavers. Which is someone that helps veterans uh, walk through the paperwork on getting their disability. Beavers has a service-related disability, Agent Orange, related to his time serving in Vietnam. Sam's pension is non-service-related, meaning he wasn't injured during his service in Korea. That's why his spouse's income must be reported. I think it's a tragic shame. The number of people we have contacted to receive help for this couple, and it seems as though it's falling on deaf ears. Reed says she's filed letters of appeal to dismiss the debt and to reinstate Sam's veterans benefits. It One appeal has been cry. denied, but she says she's not stopping. So you don't know how far everything yeah. can go back. The Mathises are relying on food stamps and help from a local charity to get by. They're three months behind on their mortgage and have a $142,000 bill hanging over their heads. It makes me cry. The VA statement says Mathis's payment was based on information they received from Mathis and his wife and that that information was incomplete or inaccurate. But then they go on to say the VA became aware of increased household income in June 2006 and did not request clarification. They say, quote, during a meeting in January 2012, the veterans fiduciary informed the VA of the veteran spouse's receipt of Social Security benefits and the VA did not reduce the veterans' benefit. The VA says they'll be waiving the veterans' debt from what they're calling the earliest possible date, June 2006. The VA says they are now conducting a series of audits to determine how much Mathis owes for the period from 2000 to June 2006 through a series of follow-up questions. We were told the best estimate for that amount is $44,000, nearly $100,000 less than the previous amount. We've already found out that Mathis can appeal that amount, and Terry Reed says she definitely will.